Episode number eight. So today's kind of a big day. I have uh, I have some personal stuff I have to do. I'm also trying to figure out a way to theme each day. I know yesterday we said we we're just gonna wing it, but I kind of like having a theme. Monday, I think I'm gonna do one of those stupid scenes like I did yesterday. I know that was really bad. It was a joke. It was supposed to be over the top and stupid. Tuesday, what can we do on Tuesday? That's today. Well, yesterday I sent an email out to all the clients just reminding them about what services they get. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to head to the office now, but first I'm going to get some drone footage. difficult time putting this video together today. I just mopped the floor and I mopped myself in this corner and I only have one of those little wipey things left. This floor is a light color so footprints, it's, you know, they're all over and it's going to bother the shit out of me. I just had a really great uh, practice audition session with Shelly Ray. Hi Shelly, welcome back to TCD. We're super stoked that you're back. We were talking and she has this amazing business that she's gonna send me info on so I can promote it. She should always be the face of that business. Like I'm a total hypocrite. You know, I never wanted to be the face of my company, but you have to be. In 2017, you're the face of your business, no matter how you look at it, you have to be. You're an actor. You're the face of your business. Um, I'm whatever I am. I'm the face of whatever this is. I feel like building content and creating content for yourself to showcase who you are as an artist is like last on a list of things that industry people are telling us to do. You digging these? These are my Tuesday socks. No, really, they say Tuesday on them. I just can't get out what I want to say. So I had all these things planned out for the video today, and it didn't work out. Anyway, I was thinking about coming up with a theme for each day. So on Monday, I would do something on Tuesday. So I planned out something for today and all these things got in the way. And, you know, because so many other things happen all the time and as we grow and as we, like, as people join, more and more of my attention is taken away from doing the kind of stuff that I love, which is this. And that attention is given to our clients. You know, when people join, they join because of, oh, we're offering this at like 45 bucks. It's crazy, stupid, cheap. But that's not why they stay. So they join for one reason, and then they always stay for another. And I can never really figure out what it was. I always thought it was like, because we did web series and headshots, we did all these like things for them, so they saved money, which is important. But somebody told me the other day that the reason why he stayed was because of the support. And just when I was about to call it quits, Chris Del Rio, who is 
a member from years ago, said that a video that I made a couple years ago really motivated him, and he wanted to show it to someone who was thinking about pursuing an acting career. So that's nice to hear. So Chris, thank you for that. Enough rambling, so I'm going to blame Chris Del Rio for being at work late because he motivated me to finish this video. So Chris, thank you. I really appreciate it. You made my day, honestly. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to like end. Um, I forgot to mention this. I was reading this email. Um, I, I've been getting the same one, you know, every week. It's for agent and manager showcases. So, which is the whole reason why I made that too personal sign. Because way back in the day, long story short, I would definitely speak out against workshops and showcases especially, because I just don't think it's fair that, uh, you know, influencers use their influence as a way to get actors to pay to be seen. Because we look at these people like they have the key to everything and we're likely to follow them. So anyway, uh, somebody had said something really negative about my company years ago. Um, and they compared it to one of those showcase places. And I don't know why, like we don't have any influencers come through here at all. Um, and it's just not like that. It just doesn't even make sense. What happened was somebody, had, a friend of mine called and told us about this negative comment in this Facebook group. So instead of taking a beat, thinking about it and reacting rationally, I flipped and made this video and called this dude out. And look, I still think he was wrong. Uh, if you manage a group and you're an influencer, you're responsible for uh, controlling the content that's on that page. And if something potentially can be slanderous, which it was, then I think it's your responsibility to do something about it. Um, we have a group that has like 6,000, 7,000 people in it and there is negative stuff that comes through all the time. Um, but I don't, I don't approve it. I don't even go down that road. So that was my whole thing. And that's why I was so pissed. And again, it's like, you can only really understand why somebody would get so upset or why I would get so upset over that is because like this business is like mine. Like it means the world to me, just like your actor business means the world to you. So it's hard not to take it personal. But that's one thing that I'm trying to get better at is not taking things so personal. We don't have any bad reviews yet, but one day it's gonna happen. So I wanna start getting into the mindset that I shouldn't be taking it too personal. Um, and then I should just look at it like a business, still treat my customers like their family, which, we, which we've always done. Things are going to go wrong at one point. And someday it's bound to happen. Like we're gonna get a bad review. Like we're gonna make a mistake or It'll just be a crazy person. Who knows? But at some point, someone's going to give us a bad Yelp review. Hasn't happened yet. We have like all five stars. I think we have one four, which I'm annoyed about. <laughs> but um, no, it's going to happen. And when it does happen, as long as we just stick to the plan, we always deliver the best service possible. Um, we're honest and transparent with our customers. We don't treat them unfairly. Then, you know, whatever review comes out, it's probably valid. As long as we do a good job, then, you know, um, when those reviews come in, it shouldn't bother us so much. So that's how I'm gonna look at it for now on. All right, I gotta get home, it's fucking late.